This keyboard broke multiple Ozu world records in a couple of days and got all of their players accused of cheating. 300 BPM for the first time with the, with the wounding keyboard. Oh my god, chat, the wounding effect is real. It became a core part of every Radiance gaming setup because of one broken feature and secured tons of Fortnite tier 1 pros wins in any major competition across the last few months. This is how the Wuting 60HE broke the competitive scene in a couple of days and is considered the biggest pay to win item you can physically purchase for gaming. What might shock a bunch of people is that the main fault behind the Wooting keyboards themselves was actually not to create a keyboard which is the fastest in the world right now, but actually just a simple keyboard which can implement double movement, which means controller movement into normal keys. The Wooting creators themselves promoted the keyboard in the first place with a bunch of racing games, trying to revolutionize the market with a brand new feature which has never been on a keyboard before. But shortly after, a couple of Fortnite pros picked up the Wooting one and figured out how broken double movement can actually be in the competitive atmosphere, it started a whole entire hype behind the keyboard brand. Every tier 1 pro want to get their hands on a Wooting keyboard. With that in mind and the company now set up for success because the demand on Wooting keyboards was insanely high, they were working on a second, even better version, trying to implement a lot more features into it, which would nowadays turn it into the number one most popular gaming keyboard for competitive gaming. Wooting overworked their Leica switches now to an actuation point of only 0.1mm, making it the fastest gaming keyboard out there on the market. And due to these insanely fast switches and the high key press rate per second, it got picked up by Osu Pros overnight. They broke multiple records that it even turned out into accusations if these players are out of nowhere cheating since they appeared on the leaderboard with stats which were never seen before. People were going crazy, everyone tried to get their hands onto it and this is the first hype of the keyboard. And it made it even possible for players who were average before to result achievements not even a top tier 1 player could achieve on a normal mechanical keyboard. Now since the keyboard has been around for a couple of months in the competitive scene, people also picked up on all the other features and their advantages. Especially the rapid trigger feature became a standard across Radiant players all over the world. Everyone wanted to get their hands on this routing feature since it allows you to immediately stop your movement at any given point. Rapid trigger gives you this feature where you can just simply let go of your key at any certain point and it will immediately stop the action. Counter strafing, which is one of the hardest parts in any competitive FPS game like Valorant or CSGO, now become actually pretty easy to learn just through simply owning a routing keyboard. Some would even argue that only Owning Wooting 60HE is kind of necessary nowadays to even be able to compete in higher ranks. There are tons of tutorials out there on the internet explaining how broken this feature is since you gain 100% accuracy after letting go of your WAS and D movement keys. So what we learn from it, especially very mechanical games can profit from this keyboard. And now once we take insanely fast switches, rapid trigger and even built in double movement, it's kind of easy to tell in which game the Wooting 60HE really popped off. We're talking about competitive Fortnite guys. Almost any tier 1 and tier 2 Fortnite Pro wants to get their hands on a Wooting 60HE and even among the top PR players of 2023 we can see a bunch of players using the Wooting 60HE. Queasy, who arguably is one of the overall best players in competitive Fortnite history, won multiple FNCSs, performed insanely well in the last FNCS Invitational and he's also using the Wooting 60HE since an early sample which he got sent out in 2022. The majority of people would arguably say that the Wooting 60HE is right now the best gaming keyboard out there on the market but especially with all of these free features combined, it sustained his biggest success in the competitive scene of Fortnite. Some people would even argue that the keyboard is so much pay to win that just simply from picking up a Wooting 60HE, you basically improve in any title you play. Major tech YouTubers and mainstream media are only praising this keyboard for its build quality, insanely fast switches and everything which comes along with it. So therefore, I want to ask you guys, do you think the Wooting 60HE is actually pay to win? If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe since we're on a road to 100k and don't forget to check out the last video where I'm going to explain you why Clix is actually using one of the worst Fortnite setups, but he's still one of the most amazing Fortnite players.